All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome. We're playing some Historic with Amonkhet Remastered. You know, all your favorite Amonkhet cards, like Wrath of God. <laughs> Not for real, though. This deck actually has a lot of Amonkhet. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. And Sphinx's Rev. <laughs> this deck's actually based around a real Amonkhet card. And, uh, of course, there are there are some special Amonkhet Remastered special cards in this set. But... Most important card of this deck by far, our promise. We have a, a Bant Field deck. We just built it on stream. And um, if you missed the brewing process, well, it means you didn't watch the stream. So watch the, the stream more often, I, I guess. Hey, hey! Um, but yeah, so uh, Bant Field, this is pretty similar to a deck that I played in Pioneer for a while. Um, our promise is messed up. Like, you thought Field of a Dead was good with Golos and stuff. Um, with Hour of Promise, it's insane. You get two lands, you cast Hour, the, it turns on immediately, you get two zombies off the field. We are playing a few deserts, so it's possible to get the, the zombies off of that. And then we just gotta explore and Growth Spiral and Euro. I mean, we're just making a bunch of, what's behind me? We're just making a bunch of mana, making a bunch of land drops, and then just, just going, you know? Uh, so, Pretty simple deck here. 30 lands, 30 spells, Euro, Rejuvenator, Explore, Growth Spiral, a Boreal Grazer. Pretty simple. Cyborg's got a few cute lands in it, and then for the most part, just has um, some good spells. That's just the deck. I'm going to shut up. We're going to play because the deck seems sweet. I'm curious to see how this one goes. Played some cool ones so far today Demonic Doom, Sandy Dog Red, Andy J, Coco Lands. If you missed those, they'll all be up on YouTube. And um, I know I haven't been doing much content lately in the last two weeks. We had. <laughs> We had six days with no power. That sucked. And then this week, they've been doing the kitchen every day. So I'm just banging away in there. They had to tear up my floor. You want to see it? I'll show it to you. I could show it to you. This is my kitchen. There it is. See? Stripped down to the bone. They put the floors in today. It won't focus. It won't. It won't. Whatever. Let's go. Stop talking. No one cares about your damn kitchen, Jim. Um, this is a tough one. We have all tap lands here. We do have Wrath and Euro, so we can like recover reasonably well from a fast start. I want to keep this. We have a Scry land, too. We find one on tap land. We have Wrath on turn four. Um, or Euro on turn three into Wrath on turn four. I'm going to keep this. After a pair of a subfloor? I don't know. They, they just do their thing in there. I don't, I, I don't really get in their way, you know? There was a, a pretty ugly linoleum floor under the uh, the tile floor that was down. It's pretty gross. We're going to ship this because all I want is an untapped land, honestly. We'll find fields off of our hour. This is why I think we could, play, we could only play three three fields if we wanted to. All right, yes, this is a pretty uh, pretty aggro-looking deck here. Let's see if we can find a breeding pool. That is a land that comes in untapped. So we can falls here. And the next turn we can shock Euro farmland into Wrath. Is having this many unique lands for a field necessary? Uh, it's good. I mean, if you never double up, your fields are always insane. Frosadon is the best possible card against us. But luckily, we have our uh, our Wrath. So that was a good draw too, untapped land. So now we can just Euro, uh, put in farmland or Wrath next turn. These lands are awful. I mean, we're not that bad, you know. Ferocidon me. Bring it. Oh, yeah. Keep playing stuff. Just don't kill me. Oh, they, they cleave too? No? Okay. Hole righty then. Um, this better have a cool animation. That's all I got to say. That's it. Come on. They got to really hire some programmers. Raise your hand in chat if you think that Wizards of a Coast needs to hire some damn programmers for Arena, you know? We're at eight. We're at six. Uh, that was cool. Hazard has, has an animation, at least. Um, okay. We have deserts. We can Hour of Promise. We don't have Radiant Fountain. This is our only gain land. So we're, we're just dead. Uh, 
If we had played, if we had put a, if we ruins too, yeah. If we had put a Radiant Fountain in our deck, we could like maybe come back this game, but. We can, we can crace this and go to three. Next we have the, we have Euro too, right? It's not really a, really there. All right, we'll just cast it, I guess, whatever. Wish we have Sync to drive in our deck too, so could draw that in theory. There it is. We gotta make blockers too though. Let's see what happens. If we had a Radiant Fountain in this deck, I think we probably win this game. Because uh, our hour will be worth some life. Yeah, I mean, it's a, a thing you can do. And Lava Mancer. Euro. The problem is that we, if we had a natural field of the dead, maybe we could pull this through. We draw exactly Field of the Dead off this. We can rev ourselves and then Euro. That's true. We lose a land though. Yeah. Well, the six six we can block. They can lob. They can like lava mancer shoot it. Um. If we Euro, we can draw an untapped. Land. I'm just gonna Euro. That is an untapped land. All right. I don't think I have any lands that gain life. I do not. So I'll just get two fields. All right. I mean, I know we're dead, but we died of Hazard and, and Lobmancer, right? I'm stupid. All right, I forgot. All right, that's fine. Close game. Close game, though. Give me a Radiant Fountain. We win this game. Even another game land. We win this game. Brutal. So close. So close. All right. So we bring in uh, Devout Decree, Wrath of God, Aether Gust, Night of Autumn, Radiant Fountain. We can cut like Field of Ruin. I just cut Scavenger Grounds too. It's just like pretty, pretty crappy. And they're bringing a lot of cards. Jeez. Uh, hmm. What do we not want? Like, I guess Crisis is pretty bad. Like, Shave a Rev. I even want Night of Autumn. Uh, just a stupid arena being being stupid. There's no problems here. What do we cut? We could, like, Shave... Maybe Night's just bad. I don't mind shaving on the land, honestly. Because, like, we can afford to miss on lands if we're, like, casting interactive spells. It's got, like, Castle Vantress. That's never going to come up. Let's try this. Not really sure. It's when you're playing 30 lands in your deck, it is, like, you know, you're, you're playing so many lands, it's hard to bring in spells. Yeah, I think Burn should be fine. I think we should be fine. Like, we, we would have won that game if we had Radiant Fountain in our deck. And that's even with them having a decent draw. And I just keep it kind of a loose one. Uh, this hand's fine. We can keep this. Mm, yeah. No one drop. Love it. What's up, C? 
Um, the Jessup Coco Lands deck was very interesting. It was definitely built wrong, but the, the idea was pretty cool. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what you want to do with it, but there's definitely something cool there. All right, so Rejuvi for uh, Scattered Groves. God Pharaoh's Gift, good enough for Historic? Yeah, probably. They're going to shock my 1-1. All right, now we should have to hour at 19 life, which feels awesome. So like, as long, if they play a uh, Frosted on here, all right, whatever. We, we, have to, we have to have the Green Cares. Top card is Wrath of God. Don't need that. Sphinx is Rev, sure. Back to 21. They froze it on again. I'll be a little sad, but we sure White Source of Wrath, so. Light up a stage, hitting Sun Scorch. I forgot this card already existed. Oh man, froze it on again. White Source, please. Did it. Yeah, your matchup seems pretty good. I don't know. Sun Scorch Desert. Hazard? Ooh, two cards in hand. You hate to see it. All right, and now we get to our promise for the world. Um, yeah. So we're going to get... Probably just two Field of Adeds. Like, Radiant Fountain's not exactly on the menu. We want blockers for this Hazard, so... Woo! Back it up. Take two. Light up stage. Mountain Bone Crusher Giant. Sure. Sure. Zombies go burr. Stop me. Sure. Rev for one million. Or five. Or five. A Boreal Grazer. How many sets in Pioneer aren't historic? A lot. It's a lot. We're going to shock. Because we don't care what people say. Yeah. Uh, your turn. Hazard, my boy. That was better. That was much better, you know? It's much better. After it was all over, he took us in the house to serve his pancakes. Let's run it back. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. Close game there. Close game, you know? Close game. Close game. Close game. What's up, Merwin? You folks tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. How's it going? You ever hit that follow button on Twitch? The hell are you waiting for? Hit it. Watch it on YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We already played Demonic Doom. If you missed it, it's up on YouTube. Um, so far, we played Demonic Doom, Sandy Dog Red, Andy J, Coco Lens, and uh, now we're playing this Bant, Bant, uh, Bant Hour Promise deck. Anything you missed, check out the YouTube for it. Rich is smooth as butter. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Where can you see the Demonic Doom list? On my Twitter. Also on Cardboard Live. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, we're going to mulligan his hand. That's also bad. Um, I mean, we do have Devout Decree and Rejuvenator into our... I guess we have to keep... We, can, we can't go to five here. We're going to keep this. Oh, uh, We're probably going to die, but... 
Obviously, they have, they have one drop. Uh, I mean, obviously, Rejuvi is good against Scorch Bitter, so. Oh, no two drop. No two drop. God, you'd love to see it. I have Gust, too. I actually like, like this little Gust here. A little Gust action. It's a little painful, but... Sure. We get to Gust into Rejuvenator. I guess if they cast Bone Crusher, it kind of sucks, but at least it wastes their turn. Yeah, sure. So we're at 13. It's not ideal, but... Um, if we get a desert, we already have two in play. It's two more zombies for our promise. Or our second white source to defend against or to give us a wrath. I want the desert. We have a Wrath. I mean, we have a Decree. We don't have Wrath yet, so... And then Hour can just find more white sources. Drawing an untapped land here would be kind of nice, but... Certainly on the edge of a knife here, you know, we are... Uh, they play Ferocidon or something. Just stomp my 1-1. One, one. Aggressive. Very aggressive. Untapped land, please. No! Damn it. We can't Decree a Scorch Bitter, can we? Maybe we can. Maybe we have to. Like, if they have Ferocidon, they like, definitely play it that turn, because this is our Hour of Promise turn. So I don't think they have Ferocidon. It's pretty risky, but... Growth Spiral? I mean, we're going to Hour next turn. I guess we could, like... Spiral of a turn after for some, I guess. Like, I eh, have to ship it, I guess. It's like a pretty mopey redraw. Like, yeah, we're gonna hour play tap land, then the next turn we could like spiral play something else. But I don't know. Shock me down to nine. Oh, they have hazard. God damn it. No. No. No, they have hazard. Oh, we're still alive. We're still alive, folks. Um, this is good. We get a lot of zombies now. So we've got three deserts and two fields. Um, and we currently have five unique lands. So we need to get a white source and some life gain. So let's get Radiant Fountain. And we already have Thorma Falls in our hand. We get a white scry land, I would think. Triggers! Sure. Alright, we're at nine. Just gotta hold. I think getting passage is more zombies, but I think worse than scrying. I don't think zombies is what we really need right now. We need to just like find you know life gain or answers and stuff. So let's um let's explore. I think we, we rejuvenate our Zen Temple. Oh, impossible! That's gross. Alright, whatever. To 10! We definitely just jam. I would trade two zombies for eight damage when I have infinite zombies. Do we need to kill need to, need to kill them before they burn us out? So should should have scribed before I looked at my top five cards. Should have scribed. Gotta find that land. One zero. Oh. I like this deck. I do. I like this deck. How about you? All right. Let's go. 
All right, folks, check out CoolStuffInc.com. Number one source for your game shopping needs. CoolStuffInc.com. My slides aren't on the overlay yet. I've got nothing really working yet, but CoolStuffInc.com is the bomb. Check it out. And uh, my article goes up tomorrow. Promo code Jim5, 5% off your order. CoolStuffInc.com. Anything you want. Games, Double Masters, Pokemon, board games. It's all on there. CoolStuffInc.com. Promo code Jim5, 5% off your order. CoolStuffInc.com. What happened to goblins? What do you mean? Uh, that sounds freaking great. Keep. Temple of Mystery. How long will Growth Spiral last in Historic? Um, I don't think they'll ban Growth Spiral in Historic. They banned Field of the Dead first. All right, so we're going to Shock and then Explore and then play Temple of Plenty and then Scry. We'll keep the Vantress on top, I think. Esper something, eh? Alright, well, don't censor me. Scattered Grove? Sure. What's, uh. What's the story, Esper friend? Okay. It's Krasis. I don't want to get hour countered, obviously. Hour's like a pretty big game, so. Here's our graces here. Oh, I misclicked the, I hit the wrong button. I don't know what I was thinking. I just totally misclicked. All right, whatever. This counts graveyards in the, gra or deserts in the, no, this does not count deserts in the graveyard. That's kind of weird. All right, pretty annoying. I just did, I just didn't click enough for some reason. I don't know why. But now they're gonna think we have like negate or something. That's pretty cool. Search for Ascanta. All right. Wrath of God. Not very good. All right. Don't negate me. All right. Dovin's Veto it is. That kind of sucks, but sure. Wish I had put this as a 4-4, you know? Alright. Shocking and playing to Fairy. Odds this game comes down to decking with Rivulet. I mean, they probably have Field of Ruin, maybe? I don't know. To be fair, they didn't negate. True. Oh, come on, where my fields at? Need my field of ruins. Stop that. Don't need a boil razor, that's for sure. Hurry. Really sucks. I misclick this hydro raises. Wrath of God's legal, folks. Come on, use those wild cards. Just use them. Oh, I could have used this. You're right. You're right. I screwed up. I could have used the desert to kill the kill the Teferi. I forgot this card had text on it. Totally correct. Hero's good. Our promise is also good. Um, I don't think it's a resolve though. Maybe you just cast another Euro. Say, let the Euro resolve. That's kind of cool. We should like naturally draw Field of the Dead. You know, that'd be really cool. Um, murderous Rider, murder. 
And we're getting that we're getting to Ascanta territory, so. Should be a really good matchup for us, honestly. We just draw the card field if it did. Murderous Rider, sure. Ugh. They are playing Field of Ruin. Alright. Our own Field of Ruin. Cool. And a Sphinx's Rev. Okay. I mean, that could obviously try and force the issue with uh, on their end steps, untap and cast uh, an hour promise. They're going to field my castle, Vantress. Uh, I think that's just fine. Just let it resolve. We want to end step rev, so like, this is fine. This just puts a card in our graveyard for Euro, too, so. I mean, that, that opens up our field to hit their search, too, so it's pretty awesome. And they said, like, like, never put a card in the graveyard ever. Keep up the pace. It's the end step. Yeah, okay. So um we're gonna rev for six. Player on sensor. They're in they main deck two main deck Dovin's vetoes? Jeez. Alright, we could like stop drawing a boreal grazer, that'd be pretty awesome. Alright, we're going for it. Did it. We found the field of a dead. Finally. Mortified, petrified, stupefied. What about you? Um just play Grazer, I guess. Yeah, like rat. There's something inside the car that goes to the graveyard, so. Alright. They are on Ascanta. Um, but now we have Field of Ruin and Field of a Dead, so like even if they find their own field to kill my field for Escanta, we still have field going, so. Field, 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 field. Right. Thought Erasure. Excellent. <laughs> Put card in graveyard for Euro. Love it. Activate Ascanta. Liliana, Dreadhorde General. That's pretty good card. We draw another Wrath of God. God, unreal. Um, all right, we've got not many cards in the bin. We can like rivulet ourselves, I guess, to Euro. I'll just start by uh. Fielding their Ascanta.
Oh, I milled so much gas. That sucks. All right, Euro me. Let's go on a little Euro trip here. We just, we just built it. We just built it like on the spot. Another absorb. All right. If I just cast that crisis for four, we like definitely win this game too. It's so sick. We would have killed a fairy, drawn a card off their shatter. All right. Do they have another counter spell? They've already cast two vetoes and two absorbs. Ship it. Let's do this. All right, so we're going to get field, field, right? Yeah, we're showing this game easily now. Um, All right, you're up. All too easy. Bottom, bottom, love sit. Let's skip to the good part. They have like a wrath here. It's like, yeah, sure. It's pretty annoying. So we, 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 we can't stop the ferry now. I guess we're gonna lose this game. Pretty frustrating game, honestly. It seems like a really good matchup for us. We just like couldn't draw, couldn't find a field. We misclicked, misclicked, misclicked our crisis approach too. And the problem is they can just ultimate their uh, their Teferi now. We just can't stop it. I don't think we're beating the approach either. I'm just going to next game. Obviously, pretty stupid. I just miss misclick miss Krasis on turn four or whatever. So um, we're going to bring in our dispute, dispute, as Canton, negate, negate. And we get to cut all of our crappy Wrath of Gods. We drew all of we drew all of. Um, yeah, I think approach is, is terrible, honestly. Uh, Historic's way too powerful for approach, I think. Cut the grazers. Um, bring in Knight of Autumn, I guess. I want Ghost Quarter. I think I want Ghost Quarter, actually. And then Bajuka Bog. Eh, I don't think so. Wrath Decree. Eh, seems good. Yeah, I think we'll be alright. I think we'll be alright. We just won't misflick this time. And we will... Uh, naturally draw a copy of Field of the Dead. Simple as that. Easy game. I would say that the approach is good against Field of the Dead specifically because it allows you to win the game even though you're behind on the board. Um, I don't think it's good in a vacuum though, like just in general. Come on. Oh, you're a field. Sand just needs any green source. I'm tilt keeping. I'm tilt keeping. Let's do it. We also have a field in our hand, so if they have one more ego, we can still at least play it. Breeding pool off the top. Not quite. Did it. Just play with desert. Godless shrine. All right, so they have Unmoored Ego, which is fine. Sure, to have a field of dead in play. So, now you get to resolve our promise for a bunch of zombies. We get a third desert, and. Oh, we're not playing Arch of Araska. That's a, that's a miss on my part. Arch of Araska is a card that should be in our deck, I think. Probably? Maybe not. I don't know. Another Krasis? Sweet. All right, so we just play this and play this. 
Um, I need to get another desert and uh, a desert and I guess Field of Ruin. Bring it on Mord Ego. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. What's up, Tuesday? Yeah, no, no approaches here, but uh, this is a rev. Those two, uh, yeah, we're just gonna crank up a uh, crisis probably. I guess we could just like end step a, a revelation because they probably can't do anything. It's three, five, yeah, I'll just play this instead of go. Like, there's dead on board, they have to do something, which untap revs. If I play a creature of its wrath, good time, gamer. Thanks for following. Oh, that's game. That was easy. Nice unmoored ego. Um, just run it back. Just looking for a V. Come on. <laughs> I'm keeping. We're on the draw. Our deck has 30 lands in it. We have a scry land. We also have Dispute and Negate, which are good too, so. This is unreal. Green off the top, please. We do have Negate and Dispute, so. Really not, like, super concerned. You know, we can definitely defend ourselves here to make some land drops. We have plenty of time to draw green. <laughs> All right, or we'll just play blue eye control. How many lands are deck? Thirty. Thought erasure. Playing around dispute too. All right. Alrighty then. So they have no land either. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, let's uh let's do this. Okay. So we can take Field of the Dead number two and be greedy. Or just play Breeding Pool and start getting our zombies going. Or should I play take, get Breeding Pool? I think I just want to get Threats in play. We have Double Dispute too, so... Nah. Explore and I resolve our promise, and the game ends. Thanks for playing. I appreciate that. It's been a lot of fun. I've had a great time. Have you too? Uh, leaving dispute up. Could explore, but. Field's pretty good against these control decks, you know? Liana Dreadhorde General. <laughs> right. Rise. Um, so six need to attack that. Nope. Not good at math. Five, four, five, five. They block one, takes eight. Got it. And the rest of these attack you. More like Liliana Dead Horde General. Ugh. Well, this was unpleasant. 
Draw a card, sure. And we get to Hour of Promise again. This time getting whatever the hell we want. Uh, sure, Castle Ardenvale. And then uh, we're also gonna play Search for Escantha, in case you uh, had that going too. Oh, they're still playing. They're still playing. They ain't done yet. Pay more mana. Vantress better. Doesn't matter. Shadow of Sky, sure. You got it. There's Castle Vantress. Uh, we do have six in the bin, though. We're flipping here. Let's go into the graveyard. Transform. Thornwood Falls. Um, we're just going to explore. Yeah, whatever. We're not going to craze this. It's like, we can just make eight zombies here and don't even need to, so. Your turn. Yeah, Amonkhet is not on Cardboard Live yet. Maybe they have Armageddon in their deck. Just maybe. I don't know, I promise. We just like go score to our own land here and kill them. Oh, I'm sure. Never been so sure in my entire life. Zomber! 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 Bear! Bear! After it was all over, the chickens in the house of service pancake. All right. 2 and 0. Oh. This deck seems for real, honestly. I'm actually pretty impressed with this deck. It's funny that the one deck we just brewed up on stream in two minutes is the, the, the best performing deck of the uh, day so far. But we'll take it. We'll take it, you know? We'll take it. We are all one. That's a really weird name. Um... Yeah, we're gonna mulligan. Just need to draw some lands. Oh, that's worse. I'm playing thirty lands, by the way. Uh, I'm not really impressed with these grazers so far. Fine. Swamp. No thought sees, thankfully. Breeding pool. Love it. Woodland Cemetery. Turn three, Night at Ebon Legion. All right. It's fine. Jareel, four month resale. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. You great. Um, it's my farm line, I guess. Explore. Just give him the old rejuvi, right? We find ourselves a uh, a field of a dead here. Could that be a possibility? Right. And some falls. Let's say go. This card's good. Assassin's trophy. Sure, you got it. Not a problem. 
There are no Amonkhet cards on the Stream Decker, folks. It's not updated yet. The set just came out today, so... Wow. That's a, that's a good turn for us. All we're going to do is, is it a Lava Spike, I guess, basically. I'd like to see that. Um, so we can rev for three. It's pretty bad. The fear is we get Thought Seized if we, uh, if we don't rev. But they would, they, would, like, they would have to draw it, obviously, so... Oh boy. Oh boy. God, our promise is so unreal. Your turn, I guess. You just can hop on over to your turn. Well, I'll play a game. Oh, gifted Aetherborn. An assassin's trophy. All right, we're small balling my uh, trying to small ball my lands here. Our promise did get field banned in Pioneer. Totally agree. Bajukabog? It's like annoying, I guess. But whatever. Six ball, please. Corner pocket. Hmm. Um. Just no attacks. Knight of the Ebon Legion. Block. Why did it screw up? Party block. Yeah. Oh no, all my stuff died. What will I ever do? How about this? You can go with this, you can go with that. Or you can go with this, you can go with that. Game. What's up, uh, Luis? How's it going, my friend? Yes, very, very busy the last few weeks. Our power's out for six days. We got our kitchen being worked on. It's going crazy. Blue Red Mill, uh, that's Reach of the Skies deck. Um, if they're here, I can give it to you. Yeah, this is just a, this, we're not even fully set up yet. You, know, you, see my, you wanna see my office? Look at this. It's just crap literally everywhere. So we're getting there. We're, we're, we're making progress. Cutting off my head, making progress. Cutting off my head, making progress. There we go. Uh, so some sort of like weird aggro deck. I don't know. Devout Decree, Wrath of God. Cut like, I mean, Grazers, I don't know what they're doing. They didn't even do anything. They just died. It's like Gifted Aetherborn. Grazers have been bad, honestly. Just cut the Grazers completely. Let it ride. Maybe I want a Radiant Fountain too, but. Oh, that's a whammy. That's better. Um, I have not had time to play any of the Star Cities recently. Um, Nicole and I played in almost all of the uh, the ones last season, but we had no power last week, and then this week we just like haven't had time with the kitchen and everything. So um, I'd like to try and find some time to play him, but realistically, it just we just haven't really had the time lately. So gifted Aetherborn, just a powerful magic card. They're probably playing. Uh, Phyrexian Obliterator in their deck. They seem like a Phyrexian Obliterator player. I mean, they're playing green, so they could be vampires at green, maybe, but. Ashiok. That's pretty good. Okay. They're just saying, yeah, sure. That's a, a hateful card, I guess. Goblin King. Thanks for the raid. Appreciate that. Love me some goblins here. All right. Um, we drew a field. That's kind of cool. Uh, don't know if I want to expose it yet, but I guess whatever. Heh. We could just like play a 2-2 Krasis and just like 
to attack the Ashiok. Probably want to do that, honestly. Wrath of God. Okay. This time he meant to play a 2 2 Crisis. It was not an accident. Murderous Rider. So murderous. Sphinx is rough. All right. That's pretty good, Zoo. Definitely have more than one avenue of attack, which is kind of cool, you know? Just play Castle once I go. Get our first White Source in play. We can rev for three next turn if we want to. Rev's freaking great. This deck's sweet. I like his deck a lot. Phyrexian Arena? Aw. Oh. You have my heart, opponent. One of my favorite cards ever. Love that card. Um, we got a Shock to draw three. I signed your Goblin Guides a couple years back. Awesome, Goblin King. Happy to have you. Thanks for thanks for uh, hanging out. Thanks to the host. Appreciate that. Uh, so, like, I think we're just going to rev. We risk, if we don't re set up to rev this turn and they draw, like, a Thought Seize, we're going to feel really, really bad. So... We're also just like almost there on just making zombies too, which is pretty nice. Yeah. Not exactly uh Assassin's trophy. I still get the search. That's actually, that's actually insane. So I get, I get I get an extra mana from my rev. Uh we'll get a second white. Bingo. And now I have a, a field in my hand, and this card doesn't search. Blast on on three is pretty appealing, but then I have to like play the blast zone. We can just field here and rejuvenate. I guess the, 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 the two twos aren't very good. Yeah, you missed Demonic Doom. That was the first deck we played. It'll be on YouTube. It'll be on YouTube. We gotta pump blast on twice. We can just do everything still. We can just play explore also. Yeah, so explore, field, blast zone, go. Pump, pump. To three. Um the Demonic Doom deck was cool. It needs a little work, I think. Um, definitely cool, though. Thoughtseize. That is kind of a tilt, but, like, it's fine. Mill 4. Devout Decree. Oh, two hour promises. Kind of a tilt. They're gone forever. Like, I feel like their deck is operating at peak efficiency and we just like, are still gonna easily win this game. What's up, Inkwell? What are my thoughts on adding powerful cards like Wrath and Thoughtseize? It's a little like weird and disconcerting, um, but it's just like more anthologies, which is kind of cool. Um, I think they need to like crystallize how they do things a little better, to make it less confusing. But I think it's like a good idea overall. My article on CoolStuffInc.com tomorrow will have a lot of my thoughts on all the cards they added. So I don't know, just bop this thing, I guess. Zombie, zombie. Getting hungry. Pet 
passage scavenger ground. Passage me. Passage me. Get some more zombies. I want zombies. I want... Zombies. Uh, I'm gonna keep the desert to cycle, probably. Euro's pretty cool. Was that magic? I blocked your spell, wizard. Bought that at a yard sale. Harry Potter costume. It's $10. Came with the wand. Maybe $5, honestly. Definitely worth it, though. Kill your stuff. All right, now what? Like, just the, the level of inevitability you just have, it's just insane. It's Leviosa. But Jukabog, Murderous Rider, Sphinx's Revelation. Oh my god. Um, we definitely just rev here and not get a Thought Seized. Just rev for seven. Said rev for seven. Oh, wait. Yeah, rev for seven. What the hell's the problem? Oh, it's a passage. Oh, okay, my bad. Ooh, only one land left. Lucky. Said rev for seven. Yep, I'm standing. I'm gonna get a headset mic, headset mic, I think. What do y'all think? Move around a lot. Yeah, that's some art. What's their like their gig here? What what are they up to? What's their like plan? Ritual set? Alright. They're just like this weird, like bad rock deck. Have I fallen? No. Why would I fall? I have great balance. Hydroid Crossus. Uh, Alright, well, we can't search. We'll just play some lands, I guess. Hakori Dust Drinker is a sweet magic card. Oh, look, I feel the dead. I am inevitable. By Euro, they get to exile it. I'm just say go. Oh, there it is. They found it. The old Blitzkies. Um, what are we going to do about that? I guess we just like sacrifice the zombies, right? Whatever. Sphinx is rev again. We're gonna like deck. We have like 13 cards left. So we're going to kill Ashiok and then Hour again. We're gonna lose a couple things. We gotta go one, two, three here. And the rest go here. We're gonna lose a couple things to the obliterator, but whatever. Um, maybe just Wrath and then Hour to kill the Obliterator. Who knows? Uh, Rivulet and Temple. Oh boy! Your turn. We're gonna hold our lands in our hands. We're gonna hold everything. Yeah. Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? 
Boom! Blouses. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just moving around like an idiot. 3-0 with this deck. Um, this deck's for real. This deck seems sweet. I gotta, I want to work on it more, but um, I'd say this deck's pretty awesome. Uh, our problem is just a messed up magic card. <laughs> this, is, this is so <laughs> this mana base is so funny. What's this one? Game. Blouses. It's from uh, the Chappelle Show. Uh, Charlie Murphy is telling a story about how he played basketball against Prince and the Revolution and how they came to play after they were at the club and they were still wearing their like their like fancy frilly outfits from the club and they, he's like yo it's gonna be the the, sh the shirts versus the blouses and obviously they just, the, the Prince's team destroys them and uh, at the end of it Prince dunks and he goes game blouses Permission of a link to post the clip. Permission granted. Permission granted. Uh, but yeah, deck's super sweet. I'm going to work on it more. Uh, YouTube folks, go watch that Prince clip. Or that Chappelle, Chappelle Show clip. Um, is our promise messed up or field? It's field. Um, but that's definitely like part of uh, part of it a little bit. Um, I do have an invisibility cloak. You ready? I'll put it on. Yep, it's on now. I'm invisible. Pretty cool, right? Up, oh, I'm back. I took it off. Uh, yeah, YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. I love you, YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on the deck in the comments. And watch these other videos that are over here on the screen right now.